Hold fire. I see him. Looks like he's waiting for Akub Dyer Jr. Too bad he's dead already. We need to get closer. See when arrest Bradley at all cost. Wait for reinforcements. Make sure he doesn't run off. Roger that. Get the reinforcements here quickly. Gavin, let's get closer. Whoa, we're too close. Kevin, what are you doing? Looks like a money transfer. Whoa, they got bombs. Let's get closer. Avoid detection. We can't arrest him in a shootout. If we have one, we're going to be dead. There's a shack up ahead. Let's regroup there. Wait until reinforcements arrive. Where's El Junior? I can't do the transfer without him. He's dead. You have no leader. <laughs> well, I'll be a leader. Do as I say, set the bombs off. That's an order. Whoa, that's another bomb. Leave it for now. We'll get reinforcements to defuse it. We just need to get the remote control so that no one detonates it. Let's go. Kevin, while we're here, there's something that I need to tell you. The intel gathered back at the al Deer Uptown was on this tape in the laptop. I didn't want to tell anybody about it yet, and I can't give it to HQ because HQ is dirty. Markins knew that this was in that office building. Bradley left it there thinking nobody would know it was there. It was his office. I picked up the laptop and gave it to him. He gave it back to me when you went with Fourth Squad to rescue the Eagle Three pilot. This is what happened a month ago. Have a listen. Colonel Martins, listen to me. Follow my orders. You can't do this. You're a traitor to us. Our allies, mankind. I beg to differ. I'm simply making the world a better place. By turning against us allies, working and supporting the enemies? You're funding to develop a mass nuke for Al-Qadir and using it against us. Why are you doing this? 
I bet the missile at the nuclear missile facility back in 2009 was your doing. You working as a double agent, you know that, right? Your Russian lab is to have English blood, which makes it easy for you to pass as an ally. You're a spec now. You're not friendly at all. We only spec nuts for the enemy at the time. The Russians just didn't do anything about it. I didn't sign up for this. I didn't want to be a Spetsnaz or undercover agent at all. For Mother Russia, I fight for the greater good, not turning against our allies. You're the one who handpicked me for this. How could you? And everyone knows the Nationalists were the enemies. We fought together at the nuclear missile facility and in Spain. I don't have to repeat myself. Either you're in, or you die. Do I have a choice? The decisions are on the table. Alright. I am in. Alright. Good. Here's the plan. We continue with the distraction operation. The main operation is done by the other generals and directors will go as planned. I'll assign you to a squad. Captain Seaman ring a bell. You wouldn't. Each member except my brothers that fought in 2009 and 2010 need to be eliminated. Send them on a distraction mission and see how you can get rid of them. We're going to make the mission look like a regular behind the enemy lines mission. I'm going to be there to make it look innocent in order Alcazar's men to place a divide. Juliet, in the suburb just west of Alcazar Uptown, there's a computer device that contains an explosive that'll wipe out all of your men. There's a diffuse box. Just don't try anything stupid. It's for those stupid Alcazar men who don't know how to work the machine. I want them to be able to deactivate it in case something goes wrong. I don't want them to die or else it'll be suspicious that a bomb killed them when you weren't even there yet. When you guys are there and it activates, then it looks as if the enemy had placed an IED. Either way, you all die. Lieutenant Vasquez will be placing a C4 on the tank while an airstrike will kill him. No funny business. Don't reveal it to anyone. You are cruel. You are a sick man. Remember, HQ is behind us as well. You didn't know Set is a rogue government agency. Only you are. As far as I know, SET was a private military company, which the UN was interested in taking over. It can't be rogue if the UN wants to take it over. I'll take two squads on the road for extraction. After you guys check out Juliet and somehow deactivate it, I got plans for him. Kevin can replace Lieutenant Vasquez's squad who will follow you. If he follows you, I suggest you do well in taking him out along with your friend. I'll see what I can do. Good. Some days after the mission, I'll meet up at the Alcazia Air Base to secure more funding. So no funny business, I want your squad eliminated. This is a suicide mission after all. I hardly think the other generals are behind you on this. Nor are they directors. They only know about the distraction mission, but not what I'm going to do with you guys. Only General McGregor knows about this. If you reveal it, you'll die. Set as a policy that all high-ranking officials are correct. No one is allowed to question them, especially me. And you know nobody likes you because you Russians can't be trusted. You Spetsnaz may be the bad guy for all we know. So you can conduct your own selfish deeds. You're so full of it. Well, there's more to it than that. If the plan goes south, which I know it will, there's more surprises afterward. <laughs> That's where the nuke comes in. Just to let you in on a secret, Lieutenant Parker had no view with Alcazia Sr. My dad was the one that set him up to go after him 50 years from 1985 without the UN knowing. The US started dragging its feet once Al went into hiding. Jim killed my father. I had to succeed my father and destroy Seth from within. Both of them had the idea of a private military company, but my father argued with them over who was in charge. Jim thought my father went rogue and killed him. <laughs> you know your mission. Get on with it. I can let you live a second longer, and even if you did reveal, they're gonna think you're nuts. Get going. Look presentable out there, okay? Kevin. I can't believe this. I have to tell you the whole thing. You knew? I was there with Bradley for two missions, but I didn't know he was a traitor till the second mission. How could you? You're my brother. I asked you that day to tell me the intel you picked up. I met Mark and Soph 11 years ago in the undercover OP in Okrug, the missile facility. We became friends afterward. He didn't want to be a Spetsnaz anymore, so 
He had to become a double agent. There was no other choice. Let me breathe for a moment. He actually took his own life that day on top of the hotel. He couldn't hold the burden any longer. The entire distraction operation was suicide. Markin saw too much and deactivated the diffuse box. I'm sorry I didn't tell you then. He wanted us to keep living. He would have had his head cut off by General Bradley if he didn't let his men die there. So he took his own life instead. He actually didn't get shot by the sniper. He grabbed my hands as I was reaching out and he... He let go. That was the last we saw of him. I don't know what happened to Captain Price and his men, though. I couldn't tell you because the timing wasn't right. And Kevin, I think you have post-traumatic stress disorder. You're seeing things. Nicole is long gone. Sergeant Mason, Corporal Chins, Corporal Stanley, Lieutenant Vasquez, even our own squad 15 minutes ago. Colonel Markins, Corporal Marlins, Corporal Leo, my best friend. They're all dead. We'll go see a doctor when we're back in safe hands. Ah, uh, what's safe anymore? Sigh. You know everything there is to know. We're innocent. You know we are. He he's going to use it. What? AD is dead. General Bradley is not going to care. He's going to keep the money inside of the bomb. How cliche. Colonel Selwyn. Come in, Colonel Selwyn. This is Captain Price. I brought the old crew for support. We cleared the war facility where you were taken captive. We saw the dead owl kept dead, Junior. Ha <laughs> Now we're ready to kill that bloody traitor. Over. Nice timing. You're alive. Wait, get out. Go back. It's a trap. What? It doesn't matter. We survived Lieutenant Bradley's trap. He tried to kill us when he took us up the road back at the uptown. There was a booby trap. Fortunately, we didn't get hurt, but the traitor ran off. He knew we knew that he set us up. Some of us made it to ally hands right away. But a few of us were evacuated later, thanks to General Hershey. Over! That's what happened. We lost our teammates too. Anyways, General Cocksucker is here to take the money. But now he's gonna keep it and set off the bomb. It's a trap, get out. He's using it to get rid of us. He has so many bombs here. Say again. Over. Repeat lost. Kevin. Again. Looks it up for now. You okay? Can we keep going? Sorry. I'm okay for now. I know why you did what you did. Let's keep moving. Colonel Markins. The Brotherhood. Ah, it's too late. They have already landed. Let's get to them fast. What's going on? There's a bomb in the next shack over. Get out of here. It's trapped. He's gonna set off the bombs. He's keeping the money. Oh, shit. We got hostages in this cottage. Shite, we have no time. It's okay. We'll get them out. Avoid the alley and wait for us. You guys have had a long day. Or, or we shall I say. We'll stop him from running. We're here to arrest General Bradley as well. We will help disarm the bombs. If there's not enough time, get out. Your survivor's more important than ours. Your testimony will save the world. We'll wait. What was your uncle? See what they secured the bombs first. I'll deactivate it. I hope you know what you're doing. I know. Let's go there fast. This may be another trap. I don't think he activated it himself. He got someone to do it. Guys, I spotted General Bradley. He's making his way toward us. He's shooting at us. Ah, oh, what a stalemate out there. Crap, he's retreating. Whoa, I took out the wires of the bomb and there's a switch. If one go bomb goes off, they all go off. I'm gonna take the switch and disable it to make sure that he doesn't detonate it. On second thought, I'll detonate it to take him out. Kevin, you're not thinking straight. You do know what you're doing, right? We're here to arrest him. Here's our chance to set it off, to kill him once and for all. Think about what you're doing. We've got friendlies out there. We've got us here. I have to make this decision for Colonel Markins, for our brothers. I would advise against that. Don't take the risk. There must be another way. I have to do this for Colonel Markins. He wants us to kill him. We all risk our lives for this. Sacrificing our friends may be hard, but we have to do it. If we're caught in the blast, we're going down with them. We're supposed to die anyway. We were supposed to die anyway. At least we can wipe out the SDT forces. Some at least. With no evidence here. There's not enough time for them to get out. 
Filipino Americans wouldn't have it any other way. Let's take it and go. What's taking you so long? We're under fire. Too many hostiles. Get the hostages and civilians out of here. Leave us for now and call for reinforcements. There's still time. You're right. Wait for us a little longer. Cover our exit. Kevin, Kevin, listen to me carefully. I need you to detonate the bomb. Are you mad? How'd you get on this line? I'm on a secure channel. This is an order. I can't explain it now. I need you to set it off. Don't do it. That's insane. We can't risk our men. I don't like this either, but we have to. General Bradley's down there too. Don't listen to him. Leave it. Whose idea is this? Captain, hang on. I'm going to grab General Hershey. If you don't do it, there's no turning back. We are here for General Bradley, and here is your chance. Screw it. Our men are worth more than that piece of shit. Kevin, do it. We can hear everything you're saying. Include what you said when you disarmed the bomb. If you have to do it, do it. Do it for us. For what it's worth. We can take our General Bradley once and for all. I know we're here to arrest him, but we're probably gonna die anyway. No one will be able to explain to General Hershey. Men, listen up. We know what we signed up for. Kevin has the bomb switch. The bomb Bradley designed as an on switch. If one goes up, all of them go off. General Bradley, you listen up. You no longer have control of the bomb. The switch is off the bomb. I know you can hear me. We are taking you out now. We are going down with you. After what you did to us back at the uptown, we're going down together. All 20 of us were your dogs. We were in your distraction mission. Since you were in charge of us, you're coming with us. Do it, Kevin! Kevin, how's my buddy? I thought you used my mountain map layout as part of your map. <laughs> do what you have to do, buddy. We're ready. You won't do it. Kevin, do it! Kevin! HQ, it's done. Kevin. You didn't detonate it! Get out while you can then. We'll fight to the death with General Bradley. See you on the other side. Captain Price, this is not real battle. You'll be swamped.